Good morning. Getting chilly. <coughs> it is the Ides of November, which being translated meaneth Tuesday, the 15th of November 2011. <gasps> and old Francis is still in Perugia, Umbria, Italy. Nine months later I came. Tuesday the 8th of jolly old jolly old February and I'm still here Woo. well goodness gracious me <laughs> now as they say life is for living and another thing they say is it's in Daniel Oh, creaky, creaky old man. Creak, creak. Ah. Ah. Oof. Many, many tackle parson. It's in Daniel. The writing is on the wall. I will not listen to a single word that Hillary Clinton says because in her run-up to try and be elected as president of the United States of America, she said yes. I do not rule out the use of a battlefield nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons against Persia, Iran. So, America's going to have all these troops knocking about. Wars are good for countries. Gets the economy going, takes people's eye off the ball, they can be patriotic and all that rubbish. So I won't listen to the woman. This purportedly is <laughs> a new hobby horse. <laughs> Christian country, America, is in fact the country doing the most killing in the world at the moment producing the most arms, selling the most arms, promulgating its wicked ways. And what happens to empires? There's only one thing. There's only one way to go. Look at all history. Greeks, Egyptian, Roman, any of them. Unless God the one and only God, <coughs> Yahweh, is at the centre and heart of matters, it will fall down. We are clearly heading for trouble in this world. It's so obvious. I'm trying to get my message out, as it were, <coughs> in my way, the best I can. I cannot do this alone. There must be other people out there who can see this. People could see Hitler lining up for the Second World War in the early 30s. I was on an airstrip which Hitler had built in the northwest of France, near a town beginning with a V, V something, 1,200 yard meter concrete hard airstrip. Now, what did they need that for in the middle of nowhere? Obviously, the man, 1935 this was, I was speaking to a man with a German shepherd dog, en français, je parle français couramment, who built the blooming thing. Well, and you're telling me that people didn't know Hitler was up to something? Oh, please. What does America want to do? What's the end game? What is the result of all the killing? In my lifetime, there's been Vietnam at the tail end. I was trained to be a medical doctor in Bristol University, 1976. The innocent people die. And our boys die, and that's all the big nations think about. The difference now is we have this global economy, global communication. The sound 
has got out. In all the land. It's from Handel's Messiah, but it's from Isaiah. So, yes, your word, my lord, through Christ, is now in the whole world, pretty much. There's virtually no, there virtually, there are virtually no peoples who do not know of you, my lord. So, this is one of the conditions, the signs of the end times. It's obvious. So the writing is on the wall, the clock is ticking, the fuses are lit, and it's purely a question of time. If these guys, Israel, with American backing, are going to use nuclear weapons against Persia, well, I mean that is starting a war. As far as we know, the Persians, the Iranians, <coughs> don't have sort of the intent well even if they did they haven't done it have they if we the West America and Israel start the war what moral justification is there at least the Second World War Britain England Mr. Winston Churchill could stand on the moral high ground and say, well, you know, Hitler's there, he's stonking about, invading countries, etc., 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 and we have to oppose this. But Hitler started it. If America starts, or Israel, uses battlefield nuclear weapons, then the world truly is into the Third World War, if it hasn't started already. But real war, world war, not a few little suicide bombers. Huh. What can I do about it? Well, at the least, I can see it coming. Hmm. Wonderful. Rejoice. 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 Because then the end times are coming. And then, we're into the second coming of Christ, and beauty, and then the river, the water of the tree of life, the last chapter of Revelation, written by John at Patmos, which is an island of Greece, part of Greece, but an island. Right, that's it. Enough said. Ooh. Like fires, don't I? <laughs> the innocent people end up suffering and dying in all of this. Right. My work is, if I can do... Oops. Candle, candle. Light in my house. My little bit. To stand firm and just keep your message coming my lord this is what I want repent prepare ye the way for the lord in your heart prepare a place your whole being to love God through Christ amen as I do